When you have a video of someone talking for a long period of time, it can be more visually compelling to show footage of the things they are talking about, rather than just the video of them talking for 30 to 60 seconds. This is where voiceovers and B-roll come into play. We will use voiceovers to achieve three things. Increase the visual interest of what is being viewed. Provide context to a scene. And finally, pull footage together that isn't strong enough to stand alone. In the previous video, we identified one clip they were just going to grab the audio from and play it over footage of the movers in the new office. Before we can begin, we must change our view from the storyboard view to the timeline view by clicking the Show Timeline button. We use the storyboard view to help get our files in their general order. Now we'll use the timeline view for more detailed adjustments. Once in the timeline view, you'll see that on the left there are three different areas within the timeline. There's the video layer for our footage, the audio music layer for our voiceovers or background music, and title overlay where we can add text or titles that overlays the video. By hitting the plus symbol beside video, we'll see that our video layer breaks down into its respective video and audio components. This is where we will pull our voiceover from, but before we do anything, let's trim the voiceover clip to the exact length we need. To help us in trimming, we can use the zoom buttons. The two magnifying glasses zoom towards or away from the timeline. If you zoom in on the timeline, you'll look at smaller increments of time for making more exact adjustments. If you zoom out, you can more easily see the entirety of your project. Now let's trim the front by pulling the left tab over just before she starts talking, which is indicated by the first bump in the audio layer. But since this can be hard to see, you can also just watch her facial expression for when she starts to talk. Press spacebar to make sure we didn't clip off the beginning. Thank you for everyone. Perfect. Grabbing the cursor, we'll move close to the end of the video. Thank you for this new building. It is 35 years overdue. Thank you. Yay! We want to trim right before the applause because it'll sound weird in a voiceover. So grab the right tab and pull it over before the applause. Then listen to the last few seconds of the clip to make sure the clapping has been trimmed. 35 years overdue. Thank you. And the audio is ready to go. Hit the zoom out button a few times to get a better view of our clip. Next, click and hold the audio, moving it to the audio music layer, and let go. The clip's audio remains, but the video component has been deleted, and the rest of the videos have shifted over to fill the void in the timeline. Audio in the audio music layer can be easily grabbed and moved to a desired starting location. It's going to be hard to hear the voiceover with the other clip's volume on, so we're going to right-click on the mover's audio, select Mute, and do the same thing for the panning shot of the new office. Now we'll preview the effect of our voiceover. Thank you for everyone that made this move possible. Um, you are so, 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 so special to all of us here at CGLA. With Success! So, since we love what we just did, we are going to save it. Control S. Just that easy. In the next video, we'll use a second voiceover technique where we transition a video into a voiceover. This allows us to show who is speaking and what they are speaking about.